what's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about an awesome centipede I received recently. I got this from Dave Maguire, uh, I'm not sure if he has any left. Uh, it's Scolopendra subspinipes taraja, also known as Scolopendra species taraja, Scolopendra species sulawesi. Really the taxonomy on centipede is messed up. So, let's have a look at it shall we? Okay, so in this enclosure here we have the centipede, Scolopendra subspinipes taraja. I will say before we get into this that this is not a beginner friendly species. Scolopendra subspinipes are fast, venomous, arguably worse than Scolopendra dahani. Uh, for example, with one, exa uh, one locality of Scolopendra subspinipes, they killed a girl in the Philippines, a seven year old and she died after 29 hours of envenomation, so always use tongs when interacting with them. Okay, so let's have a look. There it is, right there. As you can see, a gorgeous animal, that awesome black head with the yellow antennae, with those awesome red forelegs, followed by the black tips, and those massive black terminal legs. It's an absolutely gorgeous species from Indonesia, and it's probably one of the worst tempered centipedes I've ever kept. It's pretty defensive, and it's just all around pretty nasty. So, I will put it away as I don't really want to disturb her, and um, then yeah, I'll tell you some facts about it. So as you saw there, that animal is gorgeous. This one cost me around 160 quid plus postage. Generally speaking, you're going to be looking at upwards of 180 pounds. I've said um, that do not get this if you're a beginner centipede owner, purely because they're pretty rare in the UK at the moment. Um, so it's not a great idea, just in case you make a mistake and you accidentally kill it. Uh, also, get a uh, get a lot of experience. The experience with other centipede. Um, species. Like in the past, I've done videos on the Ethnostigmus trinopodus. That's probably the one I'd recommend for first time centipede owners. And then also get um, experience with some of the more defensive species like Scolopendra mutilans, Scolopendra dahani. I've got two dahani uh, coliforms, which we shall um, look at later in another video. But yes, yeah, they are awesome awesome animals. I highly recommend centipedes to anyone. They are highly misunderstood. Most people get bitten because they aren't using correct safety precautions. So yeah, as I said, always use tongs. Um, so yeah. Care-wise, I keep mine around 25 degrees centigrade on, um, on 6 inches of uh, top pot soil. Uh, with a wolf dish. Or I um, keep the area humid but not wet. A common mis misconception with um, centipede species is that they need to be kept wet. This will put, uh, give them mycosis which is a nasty, nasty fungal infection that uh, centipedes can get. Um, and then you'll have to wait and molt, keep them on drier conditions. Um, I feed mine once a week um, varying food items from live prey to um, beetle jelly pots to mango, banana, uh, p uh, frozen sword, pinky mice, um, chicken, and sometimes even fish. They are absolutely great animals and super fun to keep. Um, so yeah, I also use a flat hide, as you can see that that's wood. Generally I find if I use the curved hide like a um, cork tube, they'll burrow a lot more and you won't really see the centipede. So just a tip, use flat hides and then generally speaking you'll see your centipede more. Uh, always have water dish with your centipedes, but most people would know that. So it provides them the opportunity to drink. But um, I tend to use smaller water dish with um, centipedes and generally as I found some species like to curl up in it and it can drown them but then again I'm just paranoid but um yeah 
water dish, I place that in the centre of the enclosure, sometimes, uh, generally speaking, I put that in the centre of the enclosure, um, so that they don't trample through it whilst they're walking around trying to escape. Um, and yeah, talking of trying to escape, keep them in a taller enclosure, taller than two thirds of their body, otherwise they'll get out. Uh, ventilation holes near the top, um, and a lot of vent. Uh, cross ventilation is key with centipedes, basically. Um, you can keep them in glass enclosures, but the only glass enclosures I would recommend are the Venomous Vision brand ones. Um, use that show sold by Tony Webb. Absolutely great guy if you want centipede advice and if you want to actually get a centipede. Um, here are some of the species that I've labelled for beginners, like like Scolopendra singulata, Scolopendra uh, morsitans, as my sigmas, Trigopodus, and then he also has more intermediate to advanced species like Scolopendra species white leg, um, Scolopendra subspinipedes metallic, uh, Scolopendra dahani, stuff like that. But um, yeah. They're an absolutely awesome species. I'd recommend them to anyone who is seriously into their myriapods. And always do research on an animal before you buy it. This is probably the most challenging invertebrate I have to care for at the moment because they do not like temperature fluctuations that much. Um, but yeah, they're an awesome centipede from the Torajan region of um, of Indonesia. They're absolutely beautiful. And, yeah, I recommend them to anyone, as I've said, uh, that's into their mirror pods and stuff. But, yeah, a super, super cool animal. And thank you for watching. I am so happy to have this animal in my collection. Thanks so much, Dave Maguire, for this specimen. She's awesome. Well, I think it's a she. Just purely judging on size, she's around 18 to 20 centimetres is my estimate, but I can't really get an accurate estimate because he's always moving about. But yeah, they're an awesome species. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.